I said, I don't f you think my phone was a weapon? He said, sit down, shut up, don't say nothing. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. If another female would have said he's a police officer, I said, man, why the did you shoot me for? He said, oh, man, I thought you had a weapon. I thought your phone was a weapon. I said, how the f you think my phone was a weapon? If I'm on the phone, why did the f you shoot me? Shot by an off-duty Chicago cop, a man is hurt, his friend killed. And the story he tells tonight puts the officer's actions under serious microscope. Good evening, I'm Mark Sapelsa. I'm Micah Matera. Top story seen around the country tonight on WGN America. WGN's Tom Negevin live at Chicago Police Headquarters tonight with more. Hi, Tom. Hi, Micah. Mark, the Independent Police Review Authority is investigating this that standard. Meantime, the survivor of this double shooting telling his story for the first time. As I turn around, I see him stick his gun out the window. And I said, oh, my God. And I put my hand like this. That's how I got shot. He tried to, basically, I think he tried to shoot me in my face. Antonio Cross nursing a gunshot wound to the hand, his thumb nearly blown off, showing WGN News what he says happened Tuesday night in Lawndale. Police have said an off-duty officer was investigating a disturbance near his home when a man, allegedly Cross, approached with a gun. Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy talked about it on the WGN Evening News. This uh, shooting appears to be justified. Um, as the facts bear out, we will find out because there's always is only preliminary investigation at this point. Ross says he was on the phone, that phone records will back him up, and so will the guy he was talking to. I was talking to him on the phone when I heard the shots. So five shots, call him, call him, call him, no answer. He was constantly shooting his gun. And you never had a gun? You never, never had a gun whatsoever. They got my phone as evidence. You were talking on your phone? I was talking on my phone. And he said to you, I thought your phone was I a gun? I thought your phone was a weapon. I said, I don't you think my phone was a weapon? He said, sit down, shut up, don't say nothing. Here's the pole I said at right here. I sat right here on the pole while that young lady, I look at that young lady, body motion. She made one move, made no more move. 22-year-old Ricky Boyd was shot in the head. She hung on in critical condition, but was pronounced dead today at Mount Sinai Hospital. The before I pitch up my sister. <laughs> this is the after. I want his justice. Rikia's family gathered at the hospital today in a combination of grief and anger, wanting to know how this happened. Police have said they recovered no weapon from the scene. <laughs> how could this be justified? <laughs> you took my sister away from me. <laughs> Somebody tell me something. That's it. Antonio Cross is charged with one count of misdemeanor aggravated assault. He says he has no idea why. Meantime, Chicago police say they have reached out to and expressed their condolences to the family of Rikia Boyd. Police headquarters, Tom Negevin, WGN News. All right, Tom, thank you.